Take a closer look at that violence that erupted in Qaberkh yesterday. Uh, not only cars and taxis torched, but also three foreign-owned businesses destroyed as well in the evening yesterday. I'm joined now by the mayor of the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, Ngaba Banga. Good evening, mayor. Thank you so much for your time. Um, could you just give us an update on, on how things are this evening uh, in that area in Coston where things went so horribly wrong yesterday afternoon? Is everything calm today? Yes, it is, uh, but today it is a bit uh, calm. Um, we had um, a, a meeting with the Minister of uh, Police uh, this morning, uh, Minister Begitele, uh, to get a report from the, from the police about uh, what transpired um, 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 on, 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 on Wednesday. Uh, the meeting was fruitful because we sent very clear instructions that uh, anybody uh, who bans uh, cars or taxis must be arrested. Uh, it's illegal in as far as the constitution of the republic. Anybody who was carrying weapons um, like machine guns in the open, the law is very clear about that, that the police must do its work. If people committed crime, they must be arrested. People who ban businesses, uh, property of business people there, they must be found and they must be uh, arrested. And uh, the people who are shooting there, they must account mm. for that. This Absolutely. is a constitutional democracy. This is a city of peace named after Mandela. We will not tolerate uh, violence, whether it comes from the, the foreign nationals, the Somalians, or uh, taxi drivers, or Absolutely. private citizens. Uh, this country is run by the law and the rule of law. And therefore, we have said to the police, they must go and act and act with speed uh, in this regard to make right, sure so that uh, yeah. everything comes into order, into law, law and order. Clearly, you're on the same page with the police minister in that regard, which is welcome news. I want to just get an opinion from you on what the police minister said about foreign nationals. Uh, and on the surface of it, it seems a fair comment to make. He said, you know, it's important that uh, foreign nationals are documented, that everyone's got their papers and everything is operating legally. But I spoke just a few moments ago to the Africa Diaspora Forum, and, and they said that that was an ill-advised comment to make at a time like this, because while the situation in Kabecha seems to be under control, uh, there's already uh, murmurings of anti-foreigner sentiment in other areas. Uh, do you agree with the Diaspora Forum that perhaps the minister shouldn't have used this opportunity to talk about undocumented foreigners, or do you think it was fully within his rights to do so? I mean, the first thing we are dealing with here today is the fact that there are people who have committed a crime. Um, it's not only foreign um, and nationals. There are people who have been, been shops here, and there are people who have banned taxis here. And all those people have committed a criminal act, whether they are foreign nationals or South Africans. Therefore, people must be arrested. That's the most important thing. That's a priority. Any person who was carrying a, a gun, a machine guns in public, whether it was a South African or foreign national, must be arrested yeah. because we must enforce law and order and amongst other things people must be registered um, as, as South Africans whether people must have uh, ID documents or, or or passports to come here or permission to come to South Africa whether they are South Africans or not those are the rules it's normality in any country uh, that people must be documented we are going to intensify our work in in, in Durban Road to make sure that Durban Road comes to its uh, normality. The illegal activities that are happening and the, 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 the lack of rules and lack of obeying rules must be enforced as a city. We have asked the police minister to yeah. assist us in intensifying and maintaining our bylaws there. I have to ask you as well about another area of your city, and, and it's a, a, a part of the city called Walmer. And uh, you have actually sent a letter to the police minister today about 15 bodies found in Walmer in the last 48 hours. And you have sent a message to the police minister asking for the satellite police station in that area that has been closed to be reopened. Did you get a chance to chat to the police minister about that today? And what's going to be done? That's 
shockingly high number of, of murders, it seems, in a short period of time in Walma. Yes, I raised this uh, issue um, to the minister uh, today uh, with the high police command to say one of the things that needs to be done is to open that police station. And that police station must be open with immediate effect. Because it's only not only these 15 bodies, but there have been a number of killings every weekend in Warmer uh, Township. To an extent, I have also offered to extend our short quarter uh, to Warmer, which I have instructed uh, the, the municipality to extend that in order for us to be able to detect shootings that are happening. We, I have offered that with the police commissioner, it's going to be done, but we want the South African police to implement that. The minister has not responded to my letter yet, even in the meeting. I hope that he will, because that needs to be done. What he promised to do is to intensify police visibility in Woma. We, and they informed me that they've identified um, the source of this. They are going to deal with it decisively. We're going to watch and we're going to make them account. The police station in Woma must be open. It's not a compromise. I'm going to lobby for that. I'll push the minister. At the end, the police station must be open. Of course, uh, also, uh, we are two and a half weeks away from local government elections, and it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in your municipality. You've had a, a tough time hanging on to the mayorship. You've had to go to court a number of times, but you, on record, are saying you're fairly confident that the Democratic Alliance, which is the party you represent, is going to come back with a majority. Uh, what makes you so, so sure of that? The people of the Nelson Mandela are sick and tired of a, an, an ANC government that have broken everything down in the Eastern Cape, 22 municipalities. They can't even deliver services, pay their staff. Just recently, they bought a, a, a fence and they called it a stadium and gave it a price tag of 15 million rand. What they do, they break things down. The people of Nelson Mandela showed them in 2016 that the ANC will never, never again see its door in the city wall. They will vote for the DA for 50 plus one because when the DA delivers, it gets things done. I have just opened up in nine months a, a, a sport, sporting uh, field that we built in 13 million rand, beautiful in Warmer, where people died because I want to take children out of drugs and take them to the sporting fields. I have opened the biggest testing and training center for traffic in Motherwell, the biggest township, the fourth biggest township. It just in nine months because we get things done. People want governments that get things done, and that government is a DA. That's why I'm going to be the mayor on the 1st of November because people want change, and we give them that change mm. by getting things done. You also understand the uh, DA provincial leader for the Eastern Cape. How concerned are you about the stories circulating around the Premier Oscar Mabuyane? First of all, the public protector's report where she uh, wants the Hawks to investigate uh, even further, it seems, around the funds that were meant for Winnie Madigizela Mandela's memorial. Um, he is now alleging that the Hawks, uh, the Free State Hawks, who've been asked to investigate, uh, he says that's a political plot. His answer to these allegations. Uh, what do you make of that and concerns, if any, that you have whether this might impact his ability to run the province? Uh, we have said that uh, there must be a proper investigation in any criminal act that have been conducted in the provincial government and the Premier must be able to answer uh, on, on these uh, allegations that have been put, unfortunately, by the pri pri public protector. What we have right now, it's a report by the public protector in front of all of us, um, and the Premier knows what he has to do, but it has not been done. The Premier must then act uh, in this regard. His campaign on fighting corruption has been compromised. That's why we're saying the wise thing for the Premier to do is to, is to resign, uh, to show that uh, he's a leader uh, in this regard. The DA have taken that decision to request the Premier to do an honourable thing and resign. And uh, furthermore, under an ANC government, municipalities have collapsed throughout the province. Not only that, what has happened is that uh, uh, they've destroyed municipalities. Makana is collapsed municipality. Enoch in Kijima is gone. 
and there are many other municipalities like Matoni. We believe that the ANC and the people must save themselves from an ANC government because when the ANC governs, it breaks things down. Well, thank you very much uh, for chatting to us uh, this evening. That was the executive mayor of the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, Ngaba Banga there.